back tomorrow, like today. Okay, and go check it out. All right, let's jump into this thing. Listen, you need a podcast. You need a podcast. Does anybody know why you need a podcast? Does anybody know? Anybody know? Throw it in the chat. Why you need a podcast? Shannon doesn't know. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Anybody know why they need a podcast? Podcast is the future. Absolutely marketing. All that stuff, man. Listen. If so, for one, podcast is pretty much two part. A podcast, technically, by definition, is just an audio experience. So you upload it to the podcast platforms and you can hear it on Spotify or Apple or wherever you listen to podcasts, right? Second part is you take the same work that you did and you put it on YouTube. Now, I titled this video, I'm about I'm going live on my YouTube, okay? Maybe once or twice a month I go live on my YouTube from the morning meetup. Obviously, as a way to um to market the morning meetup, right? So take that note. Take that note. You need outlets to market the things that you sell. So the second thing is, I titled this, I think I titled this, How to Start, Grow, and Monetize a Podcast. Now, do you know that somebody that doesn't know me, if, they, if they're just randomly just on YouTube and they say, they're typing, you know what I want to know? I want to know how to start a podcast, or I want to know how to grow a podcast, or I want to know how to monetize a podcast. When they type that stuff in, guess who's going to pop up, pop up, even if they don't follow me? I am. Even if they don't follow me. On Instagram, pretty much your feed is based on what you've customized your feed to be, people that you follow. That's why TikTok does so well, because when you open the app, they just show you random people. You get to reach people. So, so listen, on our Instagram, I think the problem is we are posting for the people that follow us. YouTube, 60% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. You need a podcast, man. If you want to grow your reach organically, you need a podcast. They're not looking at the information based on how many followers you got on Instagram. They're only you. They're only basing it based on the people they search and find your videos are basing that based off the topic, the title, and the thumbnail, the topic at which they're you're talking about, the title and how you title it, if they're searching the thing that you're titling, and the thumbnail, does it look like something I need to click? Does this look like something that will help me, okay? That is pretty much it, but you need to start a podcast. But let's just go into how to start a podcast. It's a lot easier than what I explain sometimes. So I did a five-day challenge teaching people how to start a podcast, but I'm going to condense it right now. Okay, into six simple steps. How many people are going to start a podcast right now? You are going to start a podcast. You're committed. You're committed. Like, yo, this year I'm starting a podcast. Yes, Dennis. Yes, Rochelle. Yes, J Dub Productions. Let's go. Let y'all going to start a podcast, huh? And I'm going to help you right now. I'm going to help you. All right, let's jump into it. Here's how you start. And this is going to be very easy, very quick, very simple. Okay, number one. You need a message. What is the message? You just got to have a message, okay? And you guys are going to be interacting with me today. Say, I need to know what my message is going to be. What is your message to the world? Is your message that everyone needs to be an entrepreneur? Or you need to be an entrepreneur if you want to be an entrepreneur. You know the only problem with having a job? The only time having a job is a bad thing is if you don't want to have one. There are some people that want to have a job, which means the job that they have is a good thing. But if you have a job and you don't want to be in that position, your job is a bad thing. And not that the job itself is a bad thing, but you have to do what you have to do to work through all you have to work through to get out of that. Because it's not for you. This is not, you know, the job is not for you and you're enduring something that is not for you. But you have to sit there. You have to learn. I'm not saying quit. You have to grow through whatever you have to grow through and go through to get on the other side of this job. Okay. Now that's not the topic we're talking about podcasting, but you need to know what your message is. Maybe, maybe your podcast message is everyone should have a job. Very polarizing and opposing to what the popular opinion is. Maybe your podcast is fighting against the whole world who says everybody needs to be an entrepreneur and there's engaging conversation and people are listening to it on their way to work and they're more inspired to do a better job at their job and they become happier at their job. They just need a little motivation and inspiration because the world is telling them, you need to start a business. You need to be an entrepreneur. And you're saying, yo, no, listen to me. You ain't got to have that. Let me show you how to grow as a person and live a happy life with a job. There are millions and millions and millions and millions of people who loved their job before this whole entrepreneurial thing came about, before social media came about. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. 
What is your message? What is your message? Having a conversation with a guy. You know, all right, so I was having a conversation, and, it, and it, I didn't know this, but the guy said, like, we were at a, we were at a table at lunch, at dinner, I mean, and it was like a, anyway, it was just a dinner. It was really cool. And the guy, something happened. Beyonce's album came on, and we're all listening. Everybody's talking. And I said, have you listened to Beyonce's album? I haven't listened to it. He said, yeah. I said, you like it? He said, yeah, but I'm gay, so I like it. And I was like, what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? He said, uh, Beyonce made it for gay people like me. I said, word? He said, yeah, it's like house music, that that music, it's for... This is, I'm just repeating the conversation. So anybody that wants to like come at me, I'm just repeating the conversation. He said, uh, yeah, like that house music up tempo. And she says she like dedicated it to gay people. I'm like, word, that's crazy. So we go into it. We go like into like a conversation and I'm having a very transparent conversation about, um, um, about, uh, kind of like some friends that, you know, that some people that I know that are gay and then the whole transgender thing. And I'm trying to understand it. And we're having like this whole conversation. It was a really amazing conversation. Okay. And his message is that like people need to have a different perspective on transgenders. He said, he said, I, I get it. He said, I'm gay. And I'm still like trying to understand this whole transgender thing. It's like, I, I'm trying to like figure out how to approach it and I understand it, but that may be his podcast. Everybody has to have a message that you're passionate about. He's like, he's having the conversation with me and giving me his message. It just, there's no microphones and there's no cameras and there's no lights and there's no studio, but I can tell that there's something inside his heart that like he's passionate about this conversation. So he has a message. All you have to have is a message. Okay. You understand that so far? You just got to have a message. Did anybody have a message? Do you have a message? Yes, you got a message? You got a message that you want to share with the world? You should. You should. It does, I'm telling you, it doesn't even have to be interviews of people. It doesn't. Unless the interview of the person has to do with your message. That's it. You can look, I I, I got I got some students and my, my mastermind that they just, it's just them. And they just be talking. And they love it. They enjoy it, their audience enjoys it, and they're growing as a person because they're learning how to illustrate an idea. You cannot have this type of personal growth on Instagram because you're just taking a clip or 60 seconds or 90 seconds. Imagine every single week you got 90 minutes, 60 minutes, 45 minutes of, of explaining an idea in your head. This is your message. This is your message, okay? Just have one, have one, okay? All right, cool. Number two, who is your message for? Who is your message for? Okay, first, you've got to have a message. Two, we identify who the message is for in your podcast. Okay, be very specific on the podcast. I'm not getting into all the avatar stuff this morning, but you do want to build out the profile of a person that you want to have every single podcast for that you are talking to. Who is your message for? So what is your message and who is your message for? Number three, name the message. Just name it. And that becomes... The podcast. That's the name of your podcast. What's the message? Who's the message for? And we have a name that the people that you're making the message for resonate with. And it actually tells you exactly like, not exactly, but it's a really cool brandable name. Okay. So your message has to have a name. I know it's difficult coming up with a name, but everybody that has children know you just come up with a name and you're between three or four names and you just pick one because the baby's here. So we'll have a date that your podcast is going to launch. Before the baby comes, just name the message, even even if it's not going to be the name. Do you know Joe Button's podcast, the podcast name, before it was Joe Button Podcast, it was, I'll name this podcast later. <laughs> and he is, he is one of the most successful podcasters in the world. Okay. Number one, what is your message? Two, who's your message for? Number three, you just name the message. So that's your podcast name. Number four, you get a microphone and a camera. A microphone and a camera. Now, I know what your question is. What's your question right now on the microphone and the camera? I know. I know it. I know it. Just throw it in the chat. What's your message? What is your What is your question? When I say you need a microphone and a camera, which one? Of course. Here's the answer. It doesn't matter. Just get one. It doesn't matter. 
Your first episodes are going to be terrible anyway. Your first episode is going to be trash. So let's just get a mic and a camera and you do it. And then eventually you'll figure out the problems with it. You'll start talking to other podcasters and say, this is the problem with my the mic that I have. And they'll say, yo, you should get this mic. You're like, all right, bet. I'll do that. Here's the, here's the hack. You go to Guitar Center. Or I don't know if Sam Ash is still open. Or one of the places that sell microphones and cameras. And this is what you do. You ask the people. Hey, what mic do you think I should get? <laughs> Before you do like a million hours of research, it doesn't matter. Yes, you can use your cell phone. The, the cell phone that we use today, do you know the cell phone camera that we use today is better than the camera that I used when I started? Did you know that? Do you know a lot? Yo, so I'm, I'm at, I'm talking to my friend Alex and he works with Rick Ross. And Rick Ross was doing a show, like a virtual show, under, I, I believe it was like Kevin Hart's network. He sends me a picture. Oh, I wish I could pull this picture up. He sends me a picture of the setup that they sent him. They sent him a setup. Let me try to find it. Let me, oh, can I find it? Ah, uh, let me find it. This is going to be really, really good. It's going to really help my point. Alex, where the heck is Alex at? Oh, bossy, there we go. Hope, hopefully it'll be on here. So, oh, here it is. Ooh, this was fast. So let me show you the setup that he sent me, that they sent him. Oh, come on. All right, hold on. All right, let me save it first. And I'm going to show you the setup that Kevin Hart's team sent to Rick Ross to record his podcast. Let me show you. This is going to be, this drives my point home. This is what they sent him. The, this is the setup that Kevin Hart's team sent Rick Ross to do the show on his professional show. Look at this. It's a cell phone, some cords, a little rig light from Amazon. They probably got another cell phone. They got like a three camera setup cell phone system. I don't know what that mic is, but I'd imagine it's not that expensive. Hey, don't tell them I sent y'all that. Okay. I don't know. Moral of the story, stop making excuses. There's a, a like a billion dollar company sending people cell phones to do their show. You don't need all that that you think you need. You just need a mic and a camera and it doesn't matter which one, just get it. If it has enough reviews on Amazon, get that joint. And learn with the cheap stuff. Learn with the phone you got. You're gonna like, you're gonna start recording with your phone and you're gonna realize, dang, it keeps stopping because people keep calling me. And then you just learn to put it on Do Not Disturb. So when you start teaching podcasting at some point, you're going to say, all right, this is what you do on your phone. This is the setting that you put it on, but make sure you put it on Do Not Disturb so people don't call. And people are like, oh my God, this is a game changer. I've been wondering how to do this. Oh, that makes so much sense. And now you're a guru because you started with your phone. Okay? Okay, put it doesn't matter in the chat. Just put it doesn't matter. Just real quick. Just so I can see, know that y'all are getting me. Y'all are feeling me. Okay? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. No importanto. That's it doesn't matter in Spanish. Thing. Number five, pick a date to record and pick a date to release. Pick a date to record and a date to release. That's it. That's it. I just need you. Pick a day. Pick a day that you're going to record. This has been the game changer on my consistency, okay? Pick a date to record and you pick a day to release. Every single Wednesday I record. If you are in the morning meetup, the address is in the app. You can pull up to the studio, and you are going to see us recording at 10 a.m., and I got a guy, he just got an offer for $75 million for his company, but he doesn't want to take it. That person's coming at 11.30. That's cool. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? You can pull up to the studio and just watch. It's cool. Why? Every single Wednesday, unless I'm out of town. If I'm out of town, that is the only reason I wouldn't be there, but if I'm in town, we record every single Wednesday. We pick the day to record, but we also pick a day to release. Every Monday, we release an episode with me interviewing a guest. Every Thursday, I release an episode with me and Donnie where we just talk in that talk. Every Friday, I release Five Minute Fridays where I'm giving you five minutes of game to walk you into the weekend. Those, that's my schedule. 
I have my release schedule and I have my record schedule. Okay. If you're with me, say I'm with you. Just throw it in the chat. If you're with me, say I'm with you. Just throw it in the chat. And number six, you need a YouTube account and a podcast distribution account. Okay. I use Red Circle. Redcircle.com. You just hold on. I wish I had my affiliate link. Hold on. Don't set that up just yet. Let me get my <laughs> let me get my Red Circle affiliate, man. Yeah. Don't affiliate. Can I find oh, is it in here somewhere? Dang, I don't know where it's at. Red Circle Affiliate. I need my money. So y'all just gonna have to wait. Okay? Y'all just gotta just gotta wait, yo. I'm just because I need my I need my affiliate. Okay, I don't know where it's at, but I'll have it tomorrow. Okay. All right, so you need a YouTube channel. It takes a good four minutes to set up a YouTube channel, and then you get a podcast distribution site. So I use Red Circle, use Buzzfe- BuzzFeed, you can use Podbean, you can use um, Libsyn, you can use Anchor, it doesn't matter. What it does is when you upload an audio file, the one you recorded on the cell phone and the mic, the audio, the audio, the one you recorded on the mic, you upload it to that platform and that platform sends it to Spotify and Apple and all that kind of stuff. Y'all got that? That's all you need to start a podcast. Okay, give me the six steps. Give me this. Hey, thanks, Jose. Yo, text me that joint. How you get that? Text me that joint right quick. <laughs> Thanks for that joint, right? See y'all, Vera. See that's what I'm talking about, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all, if y'all ain't got no community, y'all obviously have a community. So, um, if you're on YouTube and you're watching this, um, you need to get in the morning meetup, themorningmeetup.com. Just join us so you can be live. All right, so y'all got it so far? Y'all got it? Okay, good. I, I think y'all got it. Y'all doing good. Here we go. So that's how you start a podcast. Here's how you grow it. Here's how you grow it. I'm doing it quickly. However, I do want to tell y'all. Let me drop this in here. Actually. Can somebody drop? I, I have a um I have a podcast uh boot camp coming up October 6th. Now, I'm going to release it to you all first in the morning meetup. Um, but that same day, I'm gonna blast out an email and text. I my studio only holds like 50 people, so it's only going to be 50 people. So, but you want to join the wait list right now, okay? Join the wait list right now. Somebody can somebody drop it? What is it? Podcasters Blue Podcasters Bootcamp.com. Somebody double check that. Make sure it's podcastersbootcamp.com. Podcastersbootcamp.com. Is that right? Just check it. Is that correct? Somebody tell me. Podcastersbootcamp.com. It should be a waiting. That's it? Okay. Ain't nobody put it in the chat. Somebody throw, somebody throw the link. Somebody link my boy. Yeah, link your boy. That's what I'm talking about. Jonathan Jones. Yes. Podcasters Bootcamp. It's 12 hours. It's 12 hours. I'm either going to have it on the 6th or it's going to be like 6 and 7. I think I'm going to do like a breakfast on the seven. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a breakfast. Jen, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a breakfast the next day for the for the pie. See, I just turned it into two days. <laughs> That's really, really cool. Yes. Absolutely. We're gonna do a little breakfast, a little QA breakfast. That's gonna be good. Apps, what you mean? Yeah, but it's it's for it's kind of like well, hopefully, the people in the morning, y'all in the morning meetup, y'all actually come, and but it's gonna, it's all, it's, it's like an in-person type thing, you know what I mean? Especially, it's not, yeah. So, but good, good idea. I like that. All right, let's do it. Um, let's get back into it. So that's how you start a podcast. Okay, here's how you grow it. Here's how you grow. It. But join the waitlist right now, y'all. Join the waitlist. It's free to be on the waitlist now. I gotta figure out how to give a morning meetup a discount, but it only be at, it only be accessible when I drop it in the morning. The discount. So get your ducats in a row, okay? The event's probably going to be twenty nine ninety seven, but for you all, I'll probably uh, take off like a thousand that morning. So just be prepared, because I would love to just sell it out with just y'all, okay? All right, cool. But oh yeah, let me let me just like side note: this is not for people who want to start a podcast. This is for people who already have one and want to grow it, or you have one by October. So we're not going into like how to set up and how to like come up with a name and thumbnail. We're not doing all that. This is really like growth and monetization. So we got it like, we're going to figure out how to get to this bag and how to grow the show. Okay. And I got some really, really cool guests that you guys wouldn't expect to be there. So let's do it. Okay. Here's how you grow. Number one, take the best clips from the po- from the podcast and post them on social media. That's how you grow it. But you have to be very, very intentional about this. All right. Whatever, whenever the podcast releases, let's say you're going to release on Tuesdays. I want you to take a, a like some of the, the 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 best clips. Do five of them, five of the best clips, 
and I want you to release them every single day until the next episode. So I guess that would mean like seven, I suppose. But uh, I want you to have at least five. I want you to have at least five clips from the podcast. Let's say you have a 20-minute podcast. Take five one-minute segments or something impactful. You take the five and you post them on your social media every day until the next one. Is that okay? I got it? And to answer your question, no, it's not going to be live stream and I'm not going to like sell it and say, hey, live stream is available. I'm not doing that. This is in person because I really got to like, we're going to be doing like work stuff. Like you'll actually be creating content. I'm, I'm getting like four or five videographers and y'all going to like create and you're taking the content with you. So we're not doing uh, virtual. Okay. Um, yes. So you'll take the best clips from the podcast and you'll put them on social media. As many social media platforms as you can. This is how you grow it. I was talking to my friend the other day. He said, yo, I recorded like 50 some pieces of content and my podcast isn't growing. And I looked at their page and I would not be able to tell that they have a podcast. I just wouldn't know. Listen, you have to lean into this sport. You have to lean into it. This is your new marketing. I know, I know you tell everybody you got your Instagram and all that kind of stuff. When you, when people say, how do you get in touch with me? Go to the podcast. They get more of you. You have to lean into the sport. Most of your immediate circle needs to know that you're excited about this podcast. Not that you have one. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to, I want, you, there's a difference. There's a difference. Your immediate circle, people that you know and know you and love you and talk to you on a regular basis, associates, coworkers, they need to know that you are serious and excited. And this is like the most amazing thing in your life. They need to know that, not that you have one. They need to know that you're excited, not that you have a podcast. Oh, everybody knows I have a podcast for one. No, they don't. Nobody knows you have a podcast. Nobody. Do you know, do you know that there are people right now that I know and know me that don't know I have a podcast. They don't know. They don't know the name of my podcast. They don't know. Which means I have to be like, I have to be synonymous with this podcast. And, and, I, and some of you are looking at podcasts as another thing to do. A podcast is the same thing you're doing. It's just a stronger marketing arm for whatever you have going on already. It's a stronger marketing arm for whatever you're doing already. I'm telling you. I know you're comfortable with Instagram, but people can't search for you or the thing that you're talking about on Instagram. Very few people or very, yeah, very few people will actually stumble on your page. Most of the people that come to your page are people that follow you already. Pretty much everybody that comments on your posts are people that follow you already. You have to forget about the people that follow you already. Your objective is to get people that you don't know and like to, do, to discover you. YouTube provides that. That's why we record the audio, we record the video, we put the audio on an audio distribution platform that goes to Apple and Spotify and all that kind of stuff. We take the same footage, the visual, and we put that on YouTube so we can be discovered. Now, we'll put our Instagram handles in there because we still want people to follow us, but my objective is to take people off of Instagram and have them follow me off of that platform. I want you to come off of Instagram and follow me on YouTube. So come off of Instagram, subscribe to my podcast. That's my desire, not to grow my Instagram numbers. I'm not focused on that. Y'all got it? Y'all understand? How many people have a podcast now? People know you have a podcast, but they don't know that you're passionate about it. They don't, they don't know that you like are in love with this stuff. They don't know. Tell the truth. Just be honest. Just be honest. How many? Huh? Okay. They just don't know. They don't know you love this. They don't know that you're serious about pushing this message. They just know you have a podcast, which doesn't help at all. You understand? Y'all get me, right? Okay, good. All right, cool. Let's go to the next step. Let's go to the next step. All right, quick pop quiz. What are the, what are the six things you need to start a podcast? Pop quiz. Throw it in the chat. What are the six things to start a podcast? To start a podcast. It's a pop quiz. Hurry up. You don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time together. Okay? We don't have a whole lot of time. Uh-oh. Okay. Tania, what is your message? Who is your message for? Name the podcast, get equipment, pick a day to top, pick a day and time to record and release, and get a YouTube account, podcast distribution account, 
Red Circle, you forgot to put my affiliate, Dave's Red Circle affiliate account. Yes, but you are paying attention. Tell her what she's won, Jen. You didn't want anything. We, uh, that was, but you did good. You're going to be successful. Next, have other people on your show. Okay. The, here's how you grow. You have to have other people a part of it. Somehow. Somehow. Now, your whole podcast doesn't necessarily have to be an interview style. Because some people have podcast. Yo, so shouts out to Sensi. I talk about her all the time. Secluded Thoughts. She's really, really dope. It's just her podcast, and it's just her. She's sitting there talking, giving y'all her thoughts, and it's dope. But if you want to grow outside of that and expand your reach, you need other people a part of it. Maybe once a week you have a co-host, because at least you start getting that co-host's audience. Or maybe once to four times a month, you actually bring on a guest to interview them or have the conversation about whatever your conversation is, because you want other people promoting as well. It's very important. You have, Listen, even Joe Button, it, was, it used to be him and his two co-hosts, but now you're starting to see him branching out to do interviews with other people or he's bringing other people on the show because he understands when other people come on, they bring their following with them. This is very important. This is very important. This is how you grow. You need other people's audience, okay? So watch this. Right now, every Monday, I release a podcast where I'm interviewing somebody. The person that I'm interviewing is going to promote the interview because I make the interview all about them. So they're like, yo, this was good. My audience needs to see how good I answer questions. That is every single Monday. Every single Thursday, me and Donnie do an episode together. Now, what this does is I'm promoting the podcast. Donnie's promoting the podcast. People who love Donnie that don't know me will tune into the podcast. People that like love my love me but don't know Donnie, they tune into the podcast. And now people are in the airport, in the stores, grocery stores, malls. Donnie, I love you on the podcast. Well, it's because I had this platform going and I brought her along with me. Make sense? And now it's mutualistic because she has her own following. And the people who watch the podcast for Donnie, they start sharing with their friends, like, yo, I know this, I know this girl, Donnie Wiggins. She is dope. She on this podcast. Right? So her audience looks at her as the podcast host. And on our show, it's not like a host and a co-host. It's not like, it doesn't, you wouldn't necessarily know that I started it. Because now we're deeper in. It's me and Donnie. We talking back and forth. So for her audience, her audience is sharing with their audience about her. Which is really, really dope and has been beneficial for her. You need other people a part of it somehow. So Monday, me interviewing a guest. Thursday, me and Donnie. Friday, five minute, uh, five minute Fridays. But what I, what did I do to implement just this, this last time? We're doing Q and A with people from the morning meetup. Yesterday, I had Derek on, twenty year old entrepreneur. Actually, he's the owner of Dope Man. Dope stands for um, dominating on purpose every day. He's twenty years old, attractive kid, very respectful. He's gonna be a millionaire. Multi Derek, are you in here? Is Derek in here? He's here. I'm sure he's here. Derek, yeah, Derek Roberts, man. Kid's gonna be a millionaire. So it's question. So we we did the QA. Remember, I dropped it for you all. We did the QA. So he came on and talked about his business. I gave him some ideas on how to grow. He talked about the, the, the message of it, and I'm giving him like more strategy and stuff like that. Listen to me. Listen to me. That will be the best advertisement he's ever had. <laughs> that will be the best advertisement because one people want to support two the transparency of like running a business and saying yo i don't know everything has been one of my one of my major successes in building a business because when you're transparent people want to support when you're arrogant they're like oh well the fact that an entrepreneur will come on and publicly get coached about what they don't know makes people want to support it's a 30 minute commercial for him and then I had him record a commercial for the, the sale of the product inside the episode. <laughs> but I'm only, I'm only doing that for you all. So you will not, and we'll drop it next week and you'll see it. So it's not only going on my YouTube, but it's also going in my, in the podcast distribution. So literally, literally it'll be the best commercial he's ever, he's ever done in his life. Right. But what's cool is, what's cool is for my podcast, Guess who is going to promote the podcast to their audience? Derek. 
It's twofold. Yes. Yes. Small investment, a whole bunch of like a whole bunch of uh, 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 a benefit for them. But there's benefit for me, too. There's benefit. Because I know I know he's going to have one of the biggest brands that you guys have seen. And I'm going to I'm going to tap into that audience because it's going to be some people two years from now after he's like been on being interviewed by Oprah and all that <laughs> and, and like international brand. And they're going to go to his first little session, little interview, little Q&A back in the day. It's almost like an artifact. I don't know if I use that word for it, but it's like a, a, a ancient, not an ancient, but a, you know what I'm saying? Like you go back into the history of the person. It's almost like the interview that, the interviews that Kanye did before he was yay. When he was like back in the day. So yes, Derek, still in your audience, brother. <laughs> this is not just for you. This is for me too. I understand distribution. So it, listen, it, the more we get, I'm just going to release them pretty much every week on the podcast. Cause I'm filling up the show with a bunch of content and some people might not like the interviews that I do. And they only like the interviews with Donnie. They might not like the interviews with Donnie and only like the interviews that I do with people one-on-one. -on -one. They might not like any of those, but they only tap in for the five minute Fridays. Cause all they got is five minutes to listen and they rock with it. Some people might not like none of that. And the only thing they listen to is those Q and A's because it's so valuable because they're asking a question that my audience would have. And they're like, Oh, I love this. By the way, I think we have a Brain Picker podcast tonight, so I don't know the time, but I'll promote it and let you guys know. Okay, y'all got it? Those are ways on growing. Can't believe, I keep running out of time. Every morning I run out of time. We all got a few minutes. I'm gonna run through a couple monetization strategies, okay? And then I'll open it up for maybe one question, depending on how long-winded. I, I get long-winded when I start talking about stuff. Okay, monetization. Now, okay, let me just, okay. List 10, to fi, list 10 to 15 people that have a product or service in your niche and propose ad placement. Propose ad placement. Here's some of the selling tools. If you are on a podcast, people are listening to the podcast intently. So it's way more valuable than an Instagram post. Okay? It's way more valuable because like, Podcasts, people have to like subscribe to the podcast and actually click on the podcast and they're listening and you're in their ear. Like almost on a subconscious level, you are ingrained in their mind. That's a benefit for them. So if they're doing an ad on there, you are in someone's ear and that is marketing. Every business understands marketing. The second thing is you're going to put it on YouTube. And guess what? This video lasts forever. As long as YouTube is going to be around, this video... Listen, if you do an advertisement somewhere, it's over after the advertisement is done. But if it's on YouTube, it lasts forever. And you just assure them that you are going to have the biggest podcast in the world. It's almost like having a business plan and a big idea. And you can explain the idea very clearly, but you don't have any money. But if the idea is clear enough, and they believe that you are the person that's going to execute and carry this out... They will invest the money in an idea, not even in the, what you have going on so far. Does that make sense? So it's them investing early stages in something that will be big, but you have to paint that picture. You understand? Okay, number two, whatever your product or service is, you need to have ads in your own podcast for your own product or service, for your own video. Is this making sense? Bryn, Every single episode, do you have an ad? Every single episode. Boom. Boom. If ain't nobody going to pay you for an ad, you put your own ad in there. And even if people do pay you for an ad, you still put your own ad in there. I put my own ads. There will be a morning meetup ad or a podcaster's ebook ad or a blueprint ad, something. There will be an ad in every single episode. Because you never know which one is going to go. Check this out. I got to show y'all something real quick. Uh, I should have talked about this on the on the, on the the grow part. I don't have time. It's a, it's a good point, but I don't have time. So we're going to skip over it. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Affiliates work. Find somebody that has a product or a service and just doing affiliate split with them. Just doing affiliate split with them. Let me give you this one real quick. 
for one, the bigger the audience, the more money you make, period. So focus on growth and you got to hit it every day and you got to work on having a good show and being a good communicator. The thing that will grow your show is having a good show, okay? If you grow your show, you'll, have, you'll be able to make more money because you have a bigger audience. And with a bigger audience, I don't have time to explain why a bigger audience brings more money, but it does. It just, it's really insane when I really start to break it down to you. At the boot camp, I'll show you some of my numbers. It's really, it's really fascinating actually. But you have to you have to grow your audience. But to grow your audience, you have to have a good show. You have to focus on your ability to communicate clearly because you can't rely on the visual aspect of your hands moving and all that kind of stuff. You got to be able to say it well. And this is a journey in practice and personal development of you being able to say something well because you can't rely on the visuals. Some people are good communicators. There are certain comedians that are really funny live because they got the antics and they got the props and the way they say it with their hands. And they're like, whoa, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's a, I don't know if any community, like if you ended your joke that way, but it's, it's a visual thing. But some of those same comedians, if you're just listening to them audibly, they're not that funny because they don't have the, they don't have the crutch of visual antics. My antics, not trying to disrespect the craft, but you get what I'm saying. If you are focused on giving someone a, an amazing audio experience, you become a better communicator. But here's here's a big one, okay? You need to have a podcast and learn podcasting because you can start to use your podcast as a service for high-level entrepreneurs. Here's what I mean. Every entrepreneur needs content. Am I right? Every entrepreneur, they, they they are looking to create content. Now, if you can have your own podcast and your service for them is saying, yo, I'll come set up and record you every single week. One, I'll put it on my podcast distribution, my, my, my platform and whatever sales from that, you get those sales. I'll put it on YouTube. I'll put out, I'll give you a whole bunch of clips that you can post on your social media. Just give me $1,200 a month and I'll give you four episodes a week. I mean, four episodes a month with three or four clips every single week. Because you already understand how to podcast. You know how to set up the audio. You know how to set up the video. You figured out how to set up the lights to where it looks good. You know how to upload a video on YouTube. You know how to cut the clips because you've been through it. You can offer it as a service, meanwhile still growing your podcast off of that person's name, that person's back, and that person's information. Because all they're looking at it is for I just need content. Explain it again. Okay, I got you. Let's say, for instance, I am an entrepreneur and I have a product or service. And you come to me and say, hey, David, I have this podcast. You should be on the podcast. I'm going to say no. I don't got time to be on your little podcast. But if you approach me differently and say, yo, I have a service where I create content for entrepreneurs like yourself. And I say, tell me more. Why? Because I need content. You say, well, what I'll do is every week, I'll come to your office, I'll come to your studio or whatever. I'll put the I'll, I'll interview you asking certain questions that that lean into your particular product or service and you get to answer them and it doesn't seem like you're creating content yourself. It's like you're just answering a question and then you look like an expert, but we are going to hammer this in meaning every single week we are going to shoot this and we'll upload it to my YouTube channel. We'll title it correctly so that people that are looking for how to start this particular business will just find you. And you'll make money that way. And you'll have you'll be able to cut up the clips and you'll be able to put that on social media every single week. How does that sound? It's not the podcast itself. Now you're offering a service because you understand the setup. Most people don't understand the setup of, of a podcast. Most entrepreneurs don't want to do that. They don't want to do it. So now you're offering it as a service but you may be offering this as a service for five or six people, all paying you $1,200 a month. You're running a six-figure business while also growing your own YouTube. And you get monetized on YouTube when it starts to grow. You get monetized on your podcast platform when it starts to grow. And you don't have to do no rev share. And you're growing your audience on the back of these people that you're providing a service for that are actually paying you. But y'all don't hear me though. All right, one question. One question. Let's get into a question real quick. Let's get into morning meetup Q and A. Uh, 